Uh, oh, skeletons again. I still don't know what you're supposed to do. I still don't know how to kill you. Or at least not, I don't haven't figured out your weakness yet. I know how to kill you. Just <laughs> stab anything enough times and it'll stop moving. But, uh, th 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 that's, a, that's as morbid as that sounds. I'm just still realizing that probably wasn't the best thing to come out of my mouth. Uh, don't stab things until they stop moving, please. That is a ter that is terrible life advice. Don't stab anything. Don't stab anything until it stops moving. Don't do that. That's bad. That's moiter. Don't commit moiter. Hey, guys! Zach Mars here, and welcome back! Back to the Voice of Cards, the Isle Dragon Roars. So, uh, in the last episode, we came to Thraston after an hour of screwing around. So, uh, yeah, we only literally just got here at the, at the latter end of the episode. But, uh, in the, in the process, we actually found, we actually found a rare monster. We're now all, we're now all, all of our party members are up to level six, which is good. Um, and, uh, in addition to that, we just kind of bought some things. We just kind of bought some things. Also, I'm going to go to the Apothecary because there's actually a thing we... Need to do for for a quest line and presumably to get a rare card. Um, we need an antidote. What am I, what is it we need? Well, hold on. What was it? What was it we actually needed for this for this quest line? Um, we we can get rare. We can get special cards if we do if we do if we help people out. So we're gonna try. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go get an antidote then. Oh, but we can't do anything. We can't leave unless we do. We don't have an antidote, so we gotta. All right. Okay, so we're gonna have to go. But oh, say, okay, those, that does confirm what we need to do. Can't walk in that because that's a well. Um, we're gonna go buy an antidote for this guy. We have the money for it, so we might as well. Um, and uh, we're gonna buy an antidote. I mean, I'm not going to really need the antidote it's, itself, so it'll be fine, but, uh... Leave. And we're going to go give this guy an antidote before we start anything else. Because we know because we know this is a quest line that we can do. Yeah, let's give him an antidote. You hand him an antidote and he chugs it down. There we go. As soon as he's finished, the odor completely disappears. How did that work? Overjoyed, the man resolves to tell the person he likes how he feels. From his breast pocket, the man pulls out something to give you in thanks. Is it a, is it a card? Yeah. Rare card, mysterious card number two. All right. I'm not sure how many of these there are in the game, but... uh. The man says it was all thanks to you he was able to get rid of his odor and tell the person he likes how he feels. All right. All right, what about this woman up here? Uh. Hmm. All right. So, okay, but in any case, we gotta go find a cave, find the cave, Western Cave. We have what we need. Yeah, leave the area. We have what we need to actually go and do that, so we might as well do that now. Um, where's the cave? There's the cave. Alright, you're the Western Cave's entrance. Perilous dungeon lies ahead. Adventurers is advised to be at least level three before entering. We're good. That's why they let us run, 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 wander around. We need to be at least level three to do this, but uh, which we are, so we're fine. Yes, we're level six. We're level six. We should be more than fine for this. Light can't reach the furthest depths of the cave. It may be impossible to proceed without a torch. I have the torch. What will you do? Um, use the torch. Light the torch. It'll be much easier to explore now with your surroundings better illuminated. Yeah, so now we can see. Ooh. 
Search the Western Cave for Cypri's prized possession. All right. Though the torch lights your immediate surroundings, you still cannot peer far into the distance. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out. Your ability to, to manipulate the camera has been restricted. All right, so I can't move the camera f outside of my circle, it seems. An enemy approaches. Already? What are we fighting? Oh, it's a mushroom. I, I don't think we have to worry about this. Uh, just attack it. It's not really that all that worth going out for one of our best attacks. I, all right. I think we saw these when uh when the party actually dealt when the other party actually dealt with this. Not the the Ivory Order guys. Whose names I haven't learned except for Winifred's, oddly enough. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm I don't know. It's because I'm special. Let's call it that. Let's say I'm special. Enemy. I do like the I, I do like the idea of this. This also this cave looks very massive. Seems like I'm not going to be able Let's to figure out where the cave... Okay, we haven't seen a skeleton before. So we're going to kick its ass. Yeah, we went, from play we went from playing as a skeleton to kicking a skeleton's ass. In the matter of an hour. In the matter of a day. That is that is a thing that has changed dramatically for us. Um, actually... I'm curious if this is, if this is actually going to work. One... That does not seem like it's a like it's an attack it's weak to. Um, no, we don't need to do that. No, that we don't need to do this. Let's body slam this guy. Three. Not very good. That was a critical hit as well. All right. done. Alright. Alright. I don't think we need to worry particularly much. We have a healing ability and we're and they're and now we're level 7. So we're very very much in a place where we're good. We don't need to worry about it. Alright, let's keep exploring this cave because this cave is very big. And I didn't get to explore the first cave system we were in, by the way. Thanks, game. Enemy appears. Alright, well... We don't really know where the treasure or whatever is, so we'll just keep an eye out for everything is what we're trying to do. Um, this feels like it would be weak to fire damage, so let's try that. Yeah. It, it, it's a mushroom. Of course it's weak to fire. Good work. That makes actually, that actually makes perfect sense. I'm learning how these elemental resistances work. Mars now level 7. Ooh, regenerate. Periodic restore own HP for five by five for three turns. Ooh. So for three turns. So now I'm really in a position where I can't die. Because now I have a healing ability and regenerate. Which is very helpful. Enemy approaching. wonder how many enemies are in. I wonder how deep this cave is. I imagine it wouldn't be very big considering it's the first dungeon of the game. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just kill this thing outright. Six. Perfect. Ow! That actually hurt a little bit. All right. I guess that I guess some of the enemies are still strong enough to be a threat, but uh, we're in a position where we're able to kill them before they actually move, so it's not really a big deal. Thank you. I have a healing. I have a couple of healing abilities I can use on the off chance somebody goes down, so it's fine. I heal. I have options. Enemy already? That was fast. All right. Mm. All right. Let's. Fire. All right. Fortune favors the bold. Ow. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Uh, 
let's see if we can actually get a good roll on this. Seven! Alright, neat. Alright, that didn't do a whole lot, but, uh... Ugh. Oh! Does he have regenerated powers as well? Like, at the end of his turn, he'll just gain an ability? He'll just gain the ability to heal himself? That can be problematic at higher levels. I can already tell. That's going to be problematic at higher levels. If they're able to heal themselves, that's a problem. Enemies being able to heal... I mean, granted, we can heal ourselves as well, but, uh... If an enemy is able to heal... I can understand an enemy being able to heal itself is an important thing, but, uh... Enemy approaching. Okay. So it does seem like... So it does seem like what it, it's random chance we're go, of if you, if you land on a spot or not. And the, and the enemy just shows up. Uh... No. Fire... I'm assuming this guy would also be weak to cold as well. So, let's try that. We want to try... I'm going to try that real fast. Um, actually, I'm going to restore Melanie because she's actually... I mean, she's not particularly low. I just feel like doing it. All right. Um, and um, we might as well... Uh, no, we're gonna pass. We don't- we don't need to- I wanna test- I wanna run a test first, before we actually kill this thing, so... I wanna test to see if it is uh, indeed weak to freeze. So... Alright. Five or great- eight! Absolutely going to- going to freeze this thing. Doesn't seem like it's weak to freeze. Just- it just deals normal damage. I'm a little- actually, that makes sense, considering mushrooms usually grow in colder seasons. Congrats. Which is inter- I- I don't th I th I think I forgot that. Just temporarily. I think mushrooms grow in- in colder seasons, so it's probably fine. Alright, but in case... Where to next? You fulfilled the next requirements and rocked Red Fungo's enemy story. Neat! Alright. I'm gonna go this way. Because this way feels like it's a very linear path. Oh, there's a treasure chest! It has to be what we're after. But the, but, the, but the dungeon looks a lot deeper than that, so... Let's do this. Maybe there's multiple treasure chests. That's the only thing I can think of. Alright. Ow. Let's body slam this guy. That's an eight. That's, that hurt that hurt for quite a bit. Okay. Um Okay, so I, I I forgot we had cure as well. I forgot that was an ability we had. We can cure we can we don't even need salves either. As long as Ash doesn't go down, we're we're able to heal. We're gonna we're able to heal and cure any Estas ailments that are on us. Uh, or at least we're able to heal poison. There, there's probably other status ailments that we're gonna have to worry about later, but uh but uh, still, Ash is pretty overpowered for a character. He's able to he's able to heal out of the gate. He's he's able to he's he's not even level ten yet. He's not even a high level, and he's already getting cure getting cure and heal. That's that's very helpful. All right, in case, let's see what's in this treasure chest. It's gotta be it's gotta be whatever we're here for. It's the only thing I can think of. Treasure chest found. All right, you obtained an oil pot. That's not what we need then. All right, that's not. A, that is indeed not what we need. Okay, we gotta keep going. All right. All right. I thought that was what we need. Um, fire. I don't imagine fire is going to do anything to a skeleton, but uh, yeah, I don't know what skeletons are weak to. I mean, that would make sense to me, cremate it, but, uh, I, I don't know. Apparently I'm wrong, and I don't know how skeletons actually take damage. Apparently, uh, apparently everything I think about skeletons is a lie. Alright. Well, in any case, let's keep moving. That was a dead... Oh, a skull soldier! I've unlocked, I've unlocked another character requirement. All right, enemy. 
There's gotta be a boss or something in here. That's the only thing I can think of. There's gotta be a boss or something guarding it. Because look how extensive this place is. Um, I wish Melanie had more fire. I wish she had the ability to attack multiple enemies at once with her fire, but, uh, alas, here we are. It's fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It's just something I wish we could do. I wish we had more ulti multiple atta multiple enemy attacks. Just something I wish we was a thing that, unfortunately, doesn't seem like it's going to be. Seven. All right, that was a critical that was hit. That was... Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, that killed it. A little excessively, might I add. Yeah. Ash is... Yeah, this is getting... This is good. We're in a position where we're actually able to hold our own. We have a couple abilities that will be able to actually protect us and keep us safe. Okay, this is another... Passageway. The door is shut tight. It seems some strange force keeps it barred. Huh. Upon closer examination of the door, you spot a cavity that looks like some sort of sphere should go there. Okay, so there's a boss at the end of the other side of this door that I need to go find. Can't do anything with that door yet, so I'm gonna have to come back. Uh, wait. I'm gonna deal wind damage to this guy. Four. I should kill this guy outright. Yeah, if we can kill him outright, that's fine. Alright, and Mar, we're just gonna ram him. That's enough damage to kill it, so we're good. Alright, we're doing well. I do like how I do like how this game is designed. Yeah, I know so I've already commented on this, but this game was apparently very hard to market because of the way it works. That makes perfect sense to me. I mean, I think that was like, like depending on what game you're playing, it very much falls into that kind of bo kind of boat where you can't always market a game. Sometimes games are very difficult to market, and you don't, and you just kind of have to suck it up and deal with that. All right, by any case. Got the enemy. All right, flyer. Burn it. Ow. Okay, she's definitely going to need a heal now. Uh, we're gonna take that opportunity. We're gonna take that opportunity to heal. We're not. Apparently, she. Apparently, the enemy will die immediately, and we're not gonna have the opportunity to heal. All right. She definitely is in need of a heal, though. I wonder if we can heal outside of combat with our... With our... Search for a lesson cave for Crispy's Pirate Procession. Menu. Okay. Menu. That was the long thing I wanted. Skills. Can I use it? Can I use it? No, I can only use it in battle. Okay, so that does... That does, that is There is a reason to actually use things outside of... Items. Okay, we're gonna use one of our one of ourselves. We got plenty, so we're gonna just use it. We're gonna just use it to heal up Melanie real fast. That that's the only that's the only real thing I can think of that would actually be practically useful for it. That's all we need. For, that's all we need it for. If we're outside of battle and can't heal, then uh yeah, by all means use it. All right. This is a, this is a room. So there's another treasure chest. Enemy. All right, so there's a spear-shaped object that we need to find, and I'm presuming it's in one of these one of these many many caverns that we're just running around and exploring. Uh, freeze! Five perfectly. All right. All right, done. Bye, Skellington. The Skellington, I don't think, can recover while it's frozen. So, that helps. All right, treasure discovered. Ooh, okay. Well, the middle ones have always been the super salp, so I'm going to go with the middle one. Ooh, a curative. Ooh, that helps with paralysis. Okay, that's helpful. Paralysis can be very helpful. All 
Alright, open the treasure chest. 400 gold? Okay, this isn't what I need either. Alright, so we're gonna keep exploring then. And hopefully we don't run in... Okay, so... This is enemies. This room is... So where is this thing that we need to open? About the enemy. Where is it? I'm curious where it is. Die. Death. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. Slightly, but it hurt. Kill it. All right. All right. All right we gotta go up and around, so... Enemy approaching. Okay, let's see what we gotta fight. Oh, it's just a mushroom. Okay, kill it. Burn, kill it with fire! That's a little overkill, but it, it works. Bye, mushroom. Congrats. Alright. That, was, that wasn't much experience. Treasure discovered. Alright, uh, middle. Okay, well, that time the curative was on the left. Okay, but we didn't need an antidote anyway. Not necessarily because Ash has it, but he can only use it inside a battle. So you do want to collect any any items that you need. Okay. Enemy approaching. This has to be the thing we need. This has to be the thing we need. Let's do this. Uh, I haven't tried Zephyr on this guy yet. He's a skeleton, so I would imagine blowing him over with a stiff breeze would cause him to fall apart. Or not. Apparently did nothing. Oh? That did nothing to me either. You are a... Skeletons are very weak in this game. Which is odd, because normally... I mean, that makes sense. Skyrim has that problem too, where the skeletons can can be very dangerous in high numbers, but they die but they die very quickly. So it's not a big deal. It's like because skeletons obviously they don't have they don't have the they don't have any of the any of the ligaments that are used to hold it together. So they, they don't have any of the meat and meat and tissue that would normally hold the hold the skeleton together. So of course they're going of course they're going to fall over like a like a There's the magic sphere. All right. That's presumably what we need to go open that door. So we're gonna go find that door again. Or get attacked by enemies again. Alright. Alright, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. About the enemy. There's nothing wrong with getting attacked by enemies. It's more experience for us. Alright. All right, Melanie leveled up. She's now level eight, which means I'm not sure what that means for her stats. Uh, she is leveling up and getting stronger though, so that's important. All right, there's the door. Okay, put the magic sphere in the cavity. Yes. You put the magic sphere into the cavity, and the door opens. Yeah. Okay, so this is to be the place where we're... Enemy! Is there a boss somewhere that's hiding? Not the enemy. Doesn't seem like it yet. No, that's not what I want. I don't really know how to kill these enemies. I don't know how... What, I don't think we have what we need to actually deal damage to the skeletons. I don't know... I don't think we have whatever skeletons are weak to. But, uh... Actually, we can check the... Because we've killed enough of them. we killed enough of them that we should have their bios and stuff. Um... Uh... We can, we can actually check that in our menus. Pretty sure of that. Unless I'm mistaken. Uh... 
All right, and away from the table we go. All right, let's go. Ch let's actually check that. Um, own cards. No collection monsters. I can check. Where's the ske Where's my skeleton? There's my skeleton. Uh, a powerful close clings to the bone of these former humans, of these former humans, um, which pride themselves in the graves and social release. The smell of the curse surrounded on them a pile of ordinary bones. Okay, flip over. There once was a couple couple of consumed by Nilfe love, only to be re reunited in undeath. So overjoyed that they were were they that they that their, that their good fortune that they both passed on to a sweet eternal somber. Okay, inspect. Rotate. I'm inspect. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we can actually check it in our bios. Which is, well, that's unfortunate, but okay. I'm, I would I would have assumed that, they, that we could actually check that kind of thing, but apparently not. Oh, staircase! Hello! Is, is this not what... Ooh, in, in Spirit Elixir, that'll... That's a reviver, I think. So we need that. Jump to the western cave. Oh, that's why. This like this cave is massive. Well, it's a good thing I invested in that thing that I needed. All right. So how big is this cave? How big is this cave? Uh, this might take longer than than the hour I have to record this if I'm thinking about it. Uh, oh, skeletons again. I still don't know what you're supposed to do. I still don't know how to kill you. Or at least not, I don't haven't figured out your weakness yet. I know how to kill you. Just <laughs> stab anything enough times and it'll stop moving. But, uh, th 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 that's, a, that's as more as that sounds, I'm just still realizing that probably wasn't the best thing to come out of my mouth. Uh, don't stab things until they stop moving, please. That is a ter that is terrible life advice. Don't stab anything. Don't stab anything until it stops moving. Don't do that. That's bad. That's moiter. Don't commit moiter. All right. How big is this? How big is this room? Events? A claret trail leads you deeper into the cave. Was the walking wounded a monster or a human? Hmm. A knot forms in your gut. You raise the torch to get a better look at your surroundings. The walls have been gouged and scarred as far as you can see. Uh-oh. Another message comes into view, written in tiny letters among the scars. I will find you. <laughs> Horrors transpired here. Who knows? But, a but apparently it was a... That's terrifying. Thank you for the nightmares, game! Please tell me this isn't a labyrinth, though. Oh. Hmm. Uh, if I could attack every enemy at once, that would be helpful, but apparently I cannot. We're gonna have to hope more comes out and helps. Because that is the only way we're attacking all of these guys at once. We're ho let's just hope Mar is able to help. That didn't hurt. But I am getting to the point where I do need to start healing. Or at least ha healing Ash. Uh... Alright. Mar has the opportunity. Let's deal roundhouse to all these guys. That'll deal with it. That was neat. That's 80 experience and 53 gold. Ash is now level 8. Ooh! Would-be hero! Cover 3 HP after combat ends? That's an ability! Abilities are skills that confer passive effects in battle. They take effect automatically without needing to be equipped. Ooh! So he recovers outside of battle now. 
Once it one, open up the menu, s select six setup, and then select abilities to see the abilities you've acquired. Who are your abilities? Sure. I only had the one ability, so it, it's probably fine. But uh, uh oh, main party. Uh, okay, so that's the only ability I have. I haven't gained Mar. I haven't gained Mars or or um, her other her ability yet. I haven't gained anything yet. We we'll probably get it once we're once we're high enough level, but I don't know when that is. So we're just so for the time being, we're just gonna not worry about it. Oh, this is a big this is a big cave. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, I thought this was a okay. Well, now I know that. Now I know not to wander into dead ends. All right, so this ability works automatically, right? Yeah, he's at 27 health now. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, I don't particularly want to deal with any... I don't want to fight any of these guys, so... We're just going to hit him with magic. I don't particularly care for any of these. Ow. Okay, skeletons are vicious. I will be perfectly honest. Skeletons are kind of vicious. Uh, let's attack this one. Okay, we're not killing any of them. Ow. Okay, she's gonna need some health. Roundhouse. That should deal with that should deal with all of them. Oh, they recover HP. That's that's a problem. I forgot about that. I recover HP and don't die. Perfect. Just the exact amount of health I need, a damage I need to finish it off. Um, kill this thing. Perfect. Oh. Oh, it's when he's not fighting. Mars leveled up. Does he get an ability? No, nobody gets an ability yet. Presumably, I'm going to have to wait on those abilities before I can use them. Alright, I get the opportunity to explore a little bit, though. So let's do that. Then I have an item that will enable me to immediately get out of the dungeon, Donald so it's fine. Back. Um, I, would, I do need to figure out when, they're, when they get their abilities, though. If I can get their abilities, that'll be helpful. Skeletons. Ow. That hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, Mar. Just roundhouse him. I'm not even going to bother dealing with him. Just roundhouse them all. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there's nothing. That's nothing we can't handle. Kill the skeleton. Okay, that didn't kill the skeleton. You were supposed to kill the skeleton. Now it's going to kill us. Ooh, she's low. I'm going to use my restore on her. Oh, that was a critical. That was a critical heal. And uh, just bash it. You don't need to go overkill with it. Just bash it. All right. Alright, that's pretty neat. So he restores 3 HP at the end of combat every time he uses that ability. This is pretty handy. If I'm being perfectly honest, that's pretty handy helpful. Okay, this is a treasure. Enemy. We're definitely a lot stronger than we're supposed to be, so I think we're mostly fine. And fight. Oh, this is an ogre! Oh, we didn't get to fight this guy earlier. Uh, I don't know. I forget what this guy was weak to, so we're just going to go with freeze. Ten. That's a critical freeze. Um, and we're going to lightning this guy. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to lightning this guy. I don't want this guy getting up. 
Because these guys... I, I thought these guys were boss monsters, but apparently that was just a rare instance. Apparently, I thought this guy, that guy was a boss monster. I, I could, I swear to God, I thought he was. Apparently, I was wrong. A treasure chest. What's inside? Ooh, Numstay Ring protects against paralysis. I am definitely putting that on somebody immediately. Weapon armor and accessory cards are only effective once you've equipped them to your characters. All right, I, I already know how these. Yes, change my equipment. I want the, I want this on a character. Who can I put this on? Now that I'm thinking about it. Who would, I be, who would I be most worried about if I didn't... Actually, either of these can work, out, work wear this because... I th actually, I think it would make the most sense for it to be on Melanie since, uh... Obviously, since obviously she's the she's the mage, um, and she has a lot of elemental attacks. So, th keeping her safe from paralysis might actually make a bit of sense. Um... That seems like everything we got. All right, thank you for that. Is that why that was guarded? There was a boss. Or, or did I just get really unlucky with the item, with the enemy spawn, and he and he just shows up? Okay, se okay, it seems like I just got unlucky. Considering that was a tutorial to teach me how how armor works, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, that should kill nice it. Work. No. It needs more. It needs more persuasion to go down and die. Alright, it needs more persuasion to lay down and and, and and get die and fall in a ditch and not and not move anymore. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he recovers one HP at the end of every turn at the end of his turn. So unless the monster deals more damage than you can than you can to yourself. I mean Ash is kind of is kind of a very all rounded character, so So it makes sense that he wouldn't be able to heal himself enemy well, this is where we need to be so oh yeah regular enemies they're just regular enemies now not sure how many of these I need to fight but uh let's lightning strike this dude I don't want him getting up and killing me so this guy looks scary and I don't want to want to deal with him so the faster we can deal with them, the better. Uh, roundhouse. We got enough for the roundhouse, so it's fine. I wonder how many tr how many of those monsters we gotta kill before we can actually see their story. Cause, uh, well, obviously, there's a lot of there's a lot of them. Perfect. I wonder how I want. So that begs the question of whether or not trolls have a character story. All right. Also, that was probably a hint, um, character game-wise, about how trolls would be in this cave because obviously Ash pissed one off before we came into the cave, which begs the question of are they are they actually living down here? That that probably would make sense. They would have, it would have to have been living nearby for it to have come out and, and just attacked us. Yeah, these guys are no... We're gonna, we're gonna nail them with Zephyr, I think. I haven't figured out what these guys' weaknesses are yet, but I have a couple of things that I can test, so... Might as well. Oh, that is indeed what's weak to! I mean, okay. So it's weak to Zephyr. Alright, now we know how to deal with those things efficiently and not have to worry about them. All right, I wonder if we have enough to get, to get that character story yet. No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we gotta keep fighting. I'm wondering if we can encounter it again. That's obviously, okay, that's obviously what we need. That's the end of the dungeon. Okay, is the, is the troll gonna show up again? Because I would like to very much fight more trolls so that I can actually get their bio. Oh. You disappointed me, game. I thought there was going to be a troll or something. Apparently not. Apparently that is not indeed a thing we're going to be doing. Um. Alright, we're gonna... 
roundhouse because we got plenty of these beans. Oh, that didn't that didn't kill it. That didn't kill any of them. All right. Well, now we well we know the most efficient method, but we're not going to be doing that. Okay. And uh, just kill it. Not worry about it. Just kill it. All right. Dead. Also, an idea I, d I thought of in between recordings that they could use easily make for merch for this game is a, a collectible card set. L easily the easiest thing you can do. Make a collectible card set for this game. You make to open the chest, but an ominous voice echoes around you. I will not relinquish my hoard. That's a monster. The next instant, something leaps at you out from the darkness. Oh boy, I knew this was coming. What's in here? What are we fighting? Probably some sort of boss monster thing. Oh. That's a lichy boy. Uh. That's a lichy boy. At least I'm presuming that's a lich. Two! Two? That's not enough to kill it or freeze it. Oh. Oh. Oh, but she's immune to resist. Ahaha! <laughs> Dumbass. You could not kill me even if you tried. You try to use paralysis on the one character that has paralysis on her. I knew that was going to come in handy. Oh. I knew that was a good idea. Okay. Oh, but he's an undead, so he regenerates. Uh, I'm hoping this works. One. Okay, so... Oh! Dark damage! Ooh. Uh, re regenerates. Um, do we have regenerate? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just pop regenerate on this guy so that we can actually don't have to worry about him do, about him about his his health. Oh, but he I forgot. Okay, we didn't attack that guy, so he wound up regenerating as well. Flames. Let's see if burning him works. Yeah, <laughs> dumbass. Okay. We got it. We need to use our more powerful attacks because this is a boss monster. So we do need to worry a little bit. All right. And now Okay. Zephyr. We, hey, we didn't do well with Zephyr last time. Six. We're fine. Hmm. Dark Spear. Ow. Okay, that hurt like hell. Um. Just kill it. Is that enough to kill it? Yeah. Bye bye. How much experience was that? A hundred and fifty. Now the levels up, and what does she get? Thunderstorm. Okay, so now she has. So now she can deal all all the elemental attacks. The monster defeated. You turn toward the treasure chest. Has to be what's in. That has to be the thing for, that we need for our buddy. Oh! And see those ivory order jerks rooting through it. 
You guys suck! You rush over, but you're too late to stop them. Sweet of you to take care of the monsters for us, Trills Winifred, favoring you with a smile. You guys suck. Tucking the spoils from the chest safely into a bag, the Ivory Order trio stroll away whence they came. God damn it. Knowing you couldn't stop them if you tried, you can do nothing but stand slack jawed and watch them go. God damn it. The chest is empty, save for a ragged doll. All right. Nice of them to leave us the trash. You grumble in irritation. And that turns out, let, let me guess, the doll is the thing they actually need to get the information. For some reason, Melanie picks up the ragged doll. That might be the precious keepsake that we need. Yeah. The Philly doll who said seems likely to fall off any moment now. Your shoulders slump. All that effort, and this is all you get to show for it? You find nothing else even close to treasure. Hope Cipri is ready for bad news. Hmm. Yeah, oh, we can- Now would be the fastest way out. I mean, unless we, yeah. You left the western cave. Okay, I'm just gonna leave then. I get the feeling that, although I get the feeling if One Piece has taught me anything, that the actual treasure. Each character in your party can set up to four types of skills. All right, open the skills menu, select setup, and then skills to choose and set the skills to memory part. Okay, so I can only use I can only use up to four skills. All right, so that makes a okay. So depending on what I want on my character. Um. Ooh. Well. Okay, I'm gonna swap these around. Um. And then I'm going to swap this in for my new skill. Okay. So, I mean, all of our attacks cost beads now, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, let's go bring Cypri back his doll, I'm presuming. Return to Cypri and Tyson and tell him what you found. Well, we have the doll, so I... I oh, an enemy. I'm assuming Cypri will be happy regardless, because I think this is his doll, and he probably wants it back. Uh, okay, I need to build up my beads. This this probably wasn't the best idea now that I'm thinking about it. Probably should have probably need beads to recover. Probably need I need beads. To save up. Okay. Well, I'm imagining the Ivory Order is going to be idiots, and they're not going to realize that what they actually needed was the doll. I got the feeling the doll is actually what we need. I can already tell that. I, I, I if, if One Piece has taught me anything, it's that the it's that the most valuable treasure is the thing is things that don't really have monetary value but sentimental value. That's the only thing I can think of. Um. Now that she's reunited with her stolen skin medicine, the woman couldn't be happier. Okay, so the... All thanks to the heroes from the Ivory Order, she says. A huge smile on her face, she begins applying the medicine all over her skin. Hmm. Alright, let's see what else everybody else has to say. Apparently, the woman is being harangued by some man who keeps asking her out. I don't know how many times I have to tell him he's just not my type, she sighs. Uh, was that the guy we were talking about? The Ivory Order has heroically reclaimed the stolen goods, he says, chest puffed out in pride. Yeah, you should be proud. Maybe I not- I just knew Winifred and her fellowship could do it. All right. All right. Okay, let's go bring this back to the, go to the left house. Were you able to find my treasure? Cipri asks. This is all we found, says Melanie, withdrawing the ragged doll. 
Cipri's eyes widen as soon as he sees the doll, and he reaches out to take it. I knew it! I knew it was the Without doll! breaking his gaze away from the doll, he begins to speak. Cipri tells you he gifted this doll to his young daughter a long time ago. Oh. But she fell gravely ill and died. Hmm, so it's a treasured keepsake because Since of that. Since then, Cipri has treasured this doll as he treasured his daughter. Then the monsters took it from him. Hmm. Alright. Cipri turns to Melanie. His head bowed deeply in gratitude. Thank you. We, 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 I knew that was the thing. We brought him back his, doll, his precious doll. So you reclaimed the treasure by complete accident. You step closer to Cipri. What do you have to say? Um. Now tell us what about the dragon. What do you know about the dragon? You rudely inquire. Yeah, we suck. Cipri gestures as if to say, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hmm. Far to the east of town is a place called Unionville, where monsters and humans live together in harmony. Hmm. According to Cipri, you might be able to learn something there, as the dragon and monsters are not totally unrelated. Huh. Upon hearing that, you turn on your heel to leave. Okay, but where is this town? Cipri calls out to stop you. Alright, what's the town look to like? Unionville entails traversing the dense expanse of the bewildering wood. Oh, I knew that was an area we would need to navigate at some You'll point. You need this, he says, and holds out something for you. Hmm. It's an ocarina! Ha <laughs> ha! You won't make okay, it through so. the bewildering wood without it, Cipri says. Okay, so we're not going to be able to find Your our way sights through. Set on the distant Unionville, you resolve to navigate through the bewildering hmm. wood. All right, we might as well make our way over there since we've got some time. Set out for the bewildering woods in Thryston. All right. You fulfilled the necessary requirements and unlocked Doctor for Cipri's flip side story. Okay, so we cleared his story, and now we know all of his information. The man, who no longer smells, told the person he likes how he feels, but he was still rebuffed. <laughs> I think I know what, what's going on with that. Oh! Gone, but he's still determined to polish himself up for that special someone. Hmm. Oh, poor guy. I know exactly who it is, too. It's that woman at the top. All right, well, let's go find the Bewildering Woods then. So, we know where the Bewildering Woods are. I might as well, actually, I might as well explore the Bewildering Woods a little bit and actually try and clear them. I know where they are, so it shouldn't be a too, too particularly long a journey. Oh, and so the Eyeball Trio sits out on the Queen's Quest to save the dragon. Hmm, all right. All right. Okay, so this is the story that we need to learn. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is the movie. Alright. Alright, the bewildering wood. We weren't able to actually explore, explore the bewildering wood. All right, so chapter two, Bewildering Wood. All right, well, if, if we're starting a new chapter, then uh, it might, I think that might be a good idea. And I, all right, change appearances. It's possible to customize the appearance of, cer of certain game elements, such as your avatar, dicing. I've already done this, thank you. Throw the customization options can be unlocked by completing certain conditions within the game or by purchasing add-on content. Huh? Unlock, did I unlock something? So for the bullet that unlocks something for being chapter one? I'm going to check that out right now. 
Uh, okay, but I unlocked it. I unlocked the chapter. So there's three, four, five. So there's seven chapters. It's at war six, six, and then the and then the end game. All right. So uh, the data. Um, how do? Okay, I unlock some party. All right. Okay. I think that's where the that's where the reserve thing comes through. Uh, okay. I'm. I think I. Then every. In any case, I thought. I thought we were gonna be doing a thing, a different thing. Options. Okay. This is probably where the game settings is. Um. Set confirm. Oh. Um. Other. Other? Okay, that's title screen, subtitles, credits. Okay, war game settings. Shadows? I have no idea. I have no. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to access it. But in any case! Alright, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here then. So, if we're starting on chapter two, if, th if Thrice there was the end of chapter one and we're now setting off on chapter two, then, uh,. I think that might be a good reason as any to just leave it here and just uh, continue on with this for next time. So we've beaten the so we've beaten chapter one. That is a big objective. We, that and it took me two hours. It would probably would have taken me two hours if I didn't screw around. But uh, screw around, I did, and I was better off for it because now I'm level eight, which is important. You do need to be level eight. You didn't need to be at least level three to actually navigate the cave safely. So I'm glad I did that. And uh, yeah, but again, uh, yeah, we're gonna just gonna. Go back and explore the store. Going back and explore the the bewildering wood next time, and because that was an area I discovered completely by complete accident, and we need to go there to actually go and find out what we need to do. Um, I mean, we couldn't progress any farther beyond that, but uh, now we know where the bewilder. Now that we know where the bewildering wood is and how to actually get there, it should be it should be a pretty easy cakewalk. We just need we just need to make a beeline over there, and it'll be probably be fine. But uh. For right now, I do think we are going to leave this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below if you want to help keep up to date with what's going on in the channel. If that's actually the best way to do that. Just go check that out. Link is down in the description. Um, and also, be sure to check out my Patreon if you want to help support me that way. Again, link is down in the description. Just go help, help me out and help support future projects like this if you absolutely want to. It's only a couple bucks a month and it does help me out. So, just check that out. Please help me. Um... And uh, finally, if you want to see more content, more content from me, there's actually two ways to do that. One is by checking out my Twitch. I'm actually not streaming for the time being because I'm, I'm because of work-related things, and also because my internet is kind of terrible, and I don't think it's going to work out very well. But uh, yeah, for the time being, I am just going to kind of put off streaming for a little bit, and I'll come back eventually. But uh, for right now, just uh, go check that out. Just go check that out. So when I do come back, you'll be there and be ready for it. And uh, Finally, if you want to see more content from me as well, in addition to that, then be sure to check out the videos linked in the end screen. The top video is the most recent one. It may or may not be this one. Where's the bomb video? We severely recommend it to you based on what you've already seen from me. So if you want to try something new or see more of what you like, then be sure to check both of those videos out. But regardless of whether or not you do any or all of those things, thank you guys so much for watching. As next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.